What's up guys, it's Andy Filicotti and welcome back to another video. If you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen this fall photo I posted. I thought I'd make a quick video showing you how to edit your fall photos using Lightroom, plus using a PNG overlay to add a leaf foreground to your photos using Photoshop. It's pretty easy and takes a few minutes, so let's hop right in. So you can see we're here in Lightroom and we have a photo up from Rock Creek Park in DC. Uh, the colors are looking pretty good here, so I thought this would be a good example. First, we're gonna add the overlay, since we're gonna add uh, edits on top of it, so we're gonna right click on our photo hit edit in and do edit in Photoshop. You can see I already have a falling leaf overlay that I have here that I found online. Um, I'll add the link to this in the description of this video. But if you don't wanna use this one, you can always go to Google and go to image search and type in PNG overlay leaves. And you can see there's tons of examples here to use. Uh, I just found this one and like the shape of the leaves. So let's hop back into Photoshop. Now we're gonna bring that overlay into the photo itself. Drag it in. We're gonna make it a bit bigger here. Maybe even make it sideways to match our uh, portrait orientation. Now you can see the leaves are actually green that uh, came in. So we actually want these to be orange. So let's hop over to image adjustments and do hue and saturation. You can also hit uh, command U to bring this panel up and we're going to colorize. And you can see that doesn't look correct, but we can actually shift this to the more reddish hues, increase the saturation and play with the bright brightness here. So modify this uh, accordingly to your photo to get the tone right. I kind of like this uh, orange color here. Hit OK. Now you can see we have orange leaves. Now the second thing we need to do is go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur. So we're going to increase the blur because you can see they're kind of in focus and that doesn't look correct in the context of the photo. So we're going to increase the blur here. I think uh, around uh, 60 here looks good. Hit OK. So these are the quick edits that we just did. And if there's a leaf in a position that you don't want to be there, you can actually create a mask down here, this little button here, and you have a white palette of a mask. So we'll go to our black color here, go to our brush, and you can actually just brush out whatever leaves you don't want. And that's it, you have some leaves on your photo, as simple as that. Now it looks kind of off right now, but once we get the colors more aligned to the uh, leaves that we've added, it'll look a little better. So let's save the image. After saving the image, will be brought back into Lightroom automatically. So you can see we're here, we already have an image here. So the first thing I like to do is hit tone and hit auto. I think the auto feature in Lightroom is actually really great. I hope you bring up the shadows a little more and bring down the highlights a little more. And the most important thing for our color shifting that we're gonna do here is the HSL area. Uh, you can see there's hue, saturation, luminance. The first thing you're gonna do is shift the hues of your yellows and greens. So you can see it's, that like instantly makes it look like a fall photo. And you know, you can make it green of course if you want. Make sure to definitely play with the values. I'm gonna make this uh, more on the negative side. And the uh, green hue, we're gonna change that to be more uh, orange. So now everything's looking orange and congruent together. You can also play with the saturation. Oranges here, let me get the oranges up a little bit. The yellows, maybe leave it as it was. Uh, and the luminance will actually change the brightness of each color. So, you know, if you want it to be really bright yellow, bright orange, things like that. I think I just like the way it's uh, at currently. I'll just leave it as is. So now I'm actually gonna shift the color temperature of this photo to more of an orange side. So that might look a little off to you and that's because it's it, elements that aren't actually orange are appearing orange because we changed the uh, color temperature, so let's bring this down a little bit. So what I like to do here is actually use the brush tool, bring the color temperature over a little bit to uh, the blues, and then we'll paint onto our bridge here. You can see it still looks a little too orange, but now we have uh, the bridge highlighted here. And if you hit O, you can actually see the overlay of where you're painting. So um, let's paint a little bit more here. And I'm using the auto mask feature here. This will actually select contextually where it should pick the colors. So you can see it's kind of picking the bridge for you instead of the trees around it. But I'll go through back through and make it more exact. Also pick this rock here. So we don't want that to be orange. And hit O again to hide the overlay. And you can change the brightness. Um, I like to bring up the brightness a little bit. So let's bump that up a little bit. Saturation, we'll do a negative saturation. Uh, I think like negative 60 looks pretty good. So let's delete that overlay and I can show you how it looks. So you can see it looks a little more natural now. And this also works great for people's faces and photos or people's bodies and things like that. This photo is mainly trees, so I think this looks look is looking pretty good. And of course you can uh, zoom in and hit O and then you can get exact details of, what, of where you're painting. I'm currently in the erase tool, so I'm erasing the water because we don't want the water to be this color. 
And you can see it before and after. It looks like a super fall photo now. Maybe bring the exposure down a little bit. Shadows, play with the blacks. I also like to bring up in the tone curve, I like to bring up the bottom part. So if you hold option, you can actually lock up a few points in here like this, and then you can bring up the bottom area, and it kind of makes that little area gray. You can see the gray area now. And of course, we're gonna crop the photo for our Instagram, four by five. And of course, you can use the brush also to make the water different colors. This was kind of brown because of the rushing water that was going by, but you can also use this to make the water blue if you want, or any kind of color you want. And I also like using the color area here. You can actually pick colors to overlay the area with. This actually takes a little finessing to make it look natural. So here's the before and after. And it's as easy as that. You've made your fall photos look super orange and folly, and uh, we have the leaves in the foreground. And if you're more experimental, you can even try adding more leaf overlays and making them smaller scale and changing the Gaussian blur amount, and then it'll give more depth to your photo because you can add like different layers of them. And thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe for more photo tips. And follow me on Instagram. My username is some guy. So yeah, real quick, if you have any other questions or things like that, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And if you use my editing guide, uh, feel free to tag me on Instagram or on Twitter and I'll take a look at your photos.